Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for joining us up in here for some good old outboard fun and boatsy fun and stuff like that. Um, well, I have made a decision, I have decided. Anyway, because I got sent an intake on my cute little five per five nineteen and sixty three, Evan Rude, I decided I'm going to instead of making it a Johnny Rude, I'm going to keep it. An Evan Rude. Yeah, so. Sorry. Right there. Now, the paint I'm using, I'm going to show you. I put a little cover over my, uh, where my intake carb to the intake gasket goes. I covered my nipple. <laughs> I say nipple. But this thing's got so many particulars, you know, so many nooks and crannies and things sticking out. I'm going to have to turn that thing about six, eight, nine times. But anyway, let me show you the little motor. If you've been watching my videos for the last whatever, you'll recognize the little kip hay. If you remember, all right, team. There she is. Ain't she a cutie? This one had a busted gear shift lever on it. So I had to pull the power head to put a gear shift on there. And when you're going to do that, you're going to go ahead and replace that water pump impeller and the whole water pump if need be. But... All right, Mr. Glenn Paul sent me the intake for it, um, or the in, yeah, the, the intake. You can see it's busted right where the pull start bolts. It broke it. It, it snapped it right off. That goes there. You get the picture, right? Get my fat fat arm out the way. But anyway, the screw goes down and then, and then, and Well, he sent me the right one. Now, and then he saw, <laughs> he saw that this, well, there you go. He saw the uh, hood bonnet gasket was falling apart. So he was kind enough to send me that as well. So, I've got a, a tube of silicone here. It says, says so right there. Glues and repairs almost anything around the house. Well, it's kind of around the house. I don't know, I've got some actual 3N weather seal over there too. I might use that, but I just, I was like, I might try this on a little test piece or something. Something, something. But anyway, here's what I... Okay, so I want to keep it, shall we, this color, this color. And I found this paint. What do y'all think? I think that's pretty close. And that is not an Evan Rude paint. But man, it matches it really well. And you know, if you look back on this little cutie, I'm going to turn it a little bit for you. If you look like, say, well, let me get, I hope y'all can see it. Can you see right down in here? The, I mean, this thing don't look like it's got a lot of hours on it. See how shiny and pretty that is for a 19 and 63? And there's a lot of places like that. So just a good cleaning. And I was thinking, you know, I could turn it into a Johnny Rude. 
But the paint is so nice under here that I was just like, no, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, and there, you know, and there's nothing else really wrong with the outboard. Now that we've taken care of the major stuff, there's no reason, as they say, it's only original once. So anyway, I found this paint. Now you say, what paint? What paint is it? What is that? Now this is a 1963 Avenue, and that paint matches it pretty good. Look what it says here. You see where my thumb is? Yamaha metallic blue silver. Well, I know this is just stuff I had already around um, from doing a Yamaha I did. Eight, 1985 to 1990. Yamaha metallic blue silver. Well, I know because I've had it in here too. Uh, Evinrude made a metallic silver blue or something like that. So, but if you look at that cap, that's, that's a really nice match. And like I said, I started looking at how clean and shiny some of these places on the the outboard are and I'm just like you know there's nothing you know if, if it had broken aluminum or something but it don't I mean it's 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 you know I mean just a good I haven't even cleaned it up really good when it comes to like the lower down there I mean that's still dirty and everything you see the exhaust I mean, just a good big bout of soak and scrub and slather with super clean, I mean, would do this thing wonders. So, I have decided, I decided, I would keep it an Evan Rude and not make it a Johnny Rude. And uh, I put me several coats on here and... This paint, like I said, it's a really good match. It covers well, too. You know, some of these Evan Rudes, now th this, I bought this at the Marine store, and I've bought Evan Rude from Moeller. Evan Rude paints. Um, they're very thin. I mean, you got to just coat after coat after coat before you even start getting rid of the color that you're trying to spray over. Not, not so bad with this one. I can stand way back here, and that thing covers nice. I mean, basically, I'll let that dry and put, I'll turn it again this way and then turn it again that way, but we're pretty much there. I mean, and once I bolt that all on and, but I've got to do a few things first. We've got to get um, this all cleaned up for the, the new bonnet. Gasket. That's I gotta get up. I'm not gonna film that. I mean, you don't want to see me sit around here with a little raver knife and scraper and sandy paper and whatnot and clean that all up. But uh, other than that, uh, I'll pop the carb off. I'll pro I probably will film some of that. And uh, yeah, and get this new intake on there and get this bolted down properly. And I think. The little cutie and the gasket, of course, and she'll be red to go. Well, we're gonna have to let this paint tack up and dry a little bit, and I'm thinking. It's kind of pretty outside. It's a wintry scene. It's cold. How'd you guys like to do maybe a little Kodiak tour, a harbor tour? See what's happening down there in the winter. Do a winter, winter, winter walk around. You want to do that? Let's go. It's cold here today. I think it's about 14. But it's a pretty day though. Got some pretty ducks out there too. Some harlequins.
Buffalo Heads, Old Squaw, Golden Eye. is out by the Coast Guard base. There's the Coast Guard base. But what I wanted to show, I know I have a few old shipmates and all that tune into the channel from time to time. And uh, Woman's Bay is pro. happens from time to time but it's it's not not every winter does the bay freeze up like this and uh, I'm gonna drive further down I think it's even froze going out like you were coming leaving on the day I believe it froze there as well but, yeah it's starting to warm back up now today it's about 20 um, but it, it got down a single digit, down to five. And we ain't had a lot of wind with this cold snap, so well, it, we did start now, but then it, the wind died down. But, uh, the day is froze. All right, this is a different perspective of Woman's Bay. This is around the corner from Samson. Doug and Barge, and uh, that's one of my better duck hunting spots right up in there. A lot of times that little edge there will be open water when it gets like this, and those ducks will come in there. You just sit up against the bank and you can get them. But right now, there's sometimes island. That way, Sloaney Creek. day. That way to Seattle. <laughs> Gibson Cove down here. the beautiful metropolis of Kodiak. And the windmills up 
up on top of Pillar Mountain or windmilling. And there's the wonderful, wonderful city of Kodiak. Kodiak Island. And the Pacific Ocean. You see the harbors a little bit froze. Well, on in, inside it is. But not on the other side of the plank. Let's see, we take a walk down a couple of piers and see what we see. Gilmetter boat there. That's where they run the gillnet through, right there. Not enough boats for Cody after I <laughs> Although I'm looking for one just about like it. An aqua sport. Two stroke yammy and a Mercury something, 15, we'll be at Harbor. Nice. Push her bow. Suzuki 300. That's a kicker. Harbor tug, load equipment off and on the beach. Space, I like it. Landing craft, a lot of cabin room in there too. It's a nice boat. If you live remote around Kodiak, this this would be the boat to have. It says right under there, skiff. <laughs> so yeah, this would be the boat to have. Got a boom for offloading stuff. Got a bow ramp door. Could do a lot with that boat. Mm -hmm. 
That's an old fiberglass, Leclerc, Ledford, something like that, and they put a bulbous bow on it. They take old propane tanks and make those bulbous bows a lot of times. Pretty neat. Moon shadow. <laughs> no point. <laughs> yeah. I know the owner of that boat. Nice little rubber raft. Nice setup with a little yami. Yeah. Little caparel. Cat Mary Perez. Mary Jane's last dance. A blowboat. Had his generator on there. Yeah. Alaska tough. Custom gunnels on that made out of aluminum. Oh, I like that. Clean looking boat. My mind. This boat here, it's, uh, you can see it says Alaska Department of Fish and Games, the K High C. They use it as a training boat in high school programs to train do on water drills, survival, and just maritime education for the high school students and so forth. Pretty good deal. Look at that all aluminum sailboat. Commercial grade aluminum. Yep. A little bit of money in that one. It's nicely done. I was expecting to see a lot more four cell signs than I'm seeing. I haven't seen any really. That little bit of zoo. That little beauty. One horsepower. Two part two per five. I bet I could roll with my hand as fast as that thing would go. You're welcome. Red skies at night, red skies at night, red skies at night, oh, oh.
on that one. Got it all covered up, looking good. Somebody's paying the mortgage fees on it and everything. Some guys will take an old boat like that and uh, they'll put them jigging machines on and they can actually go out and make five, six hundred bucks a day jigging up rockfish and so forth. You know, it it's like anything else, it just has to be solid and mechanical and uh, construction. It don't have to be super beautiful, but you take an old boat like that, go out with your jig machines, you know, jig three, four hundred pounds of rockfish, come in, and sell it. Boy, look at that. Now, how many hours do you think that little Suzuki will ever have on it, other than maybe being on that raft? <laughs> Yeah, here's a bunch of these nice ones with the drop down bows, the ramp. Big money. Take a boat just like that right there and go out and make three, four, six hundred bucks a day. 
Well, I thought I'd just show you the beautiful Kodiak Island. This is Manoshka Bay here. Um, it's just a real pretty day out. Coming on the inside out, boys, with your host, Cody Bass.